Hi there, it's me again. I'm just going to show you some of the things that I've talked about in this video. This is a solid rod, stainless steel rod. I get this stuff at the true value. It's usually about 12 inches long. Uh, that's what I made my through bolts through. I have a small lathe so I cut my threads. It's very difficult to cut threads in this stuff with a, with a die or a tap got to be a really good one to do it but so I made these insulators what they have is it is a small piece of tube also from true value that I get they're 12 inches long too stainless steel 304 not the best but it works pretty good grade I take that tube this is a piece of shrink tube and it fits perfectly in there and I heat that up and shrink that down around that and it gives me an insulated spacer so uh, it works pretty good you can cut them at any length you want this thing get in six to ten inches long the shrink tube so works very good and another little thing that I did, I think I've mentioned, my, uh, as you can see, my cell right there in the corner. This is a piece of con uh, plastic conduit or PVC pipe. That's where I have made these little spacers. I put it in my lathe and I got a little cutoff tool and I just cut off the thickness that I want. Shove it back through and keep cutting off what I want. This happens to fit perfectly around this insulated spacer that I have. It works really well. It's a little, little sloppy but not bad. So uh, hardware store is a lifesaver. A lot of stuff there if you put your uh, mind to it you can come up with something but I try to get what I use locally without having to order it. So everything I try to construct, I try to construct that can be bought or had at a hardware store. So it's easy for people to do this at home. There are some steps that are a little difficult, but a little imagination or a little more money, you can get by with it. So, but everything I use is right out of mostly true value or Walmart which we call Wally World around here so um, not all true values will carry this stainless steel so you have to shop around a little bit for it but uh, I happen to have one that does carry a fairly decent supply of stainless steel goodies so just to kind of give you a little background on what I use and why I use it this stuff is available for the average Joe nothing special here so and that's where I try to work from for everybody is to give somebody the chance to go out and do what a lot of people are doing cheaply. So uh, stainless steel uh, plates you can usually get at a sheet metal shop if you got something around there. Uh, there's other alternatives too if you put your mind to it. But uh, everything is available locally usually. So thank you. Uh, we'll catch you later. Bye now.